time. It's war time. Gathering the troops, yeah, it's war time. The most high is gonna have mercy on you, black people, if you return back to him. He's not before me. It's war time. We are gods on this earth. We are gods, Joseph. Keep the blood, yeah, it's war time. Calling all Jews. Blood in your veins. Yeah. It's the same that was in Christ's veins. You say that don't matter? It's our job as the watchman to warn our people. Wake up from the lies that you're in. We must return as the Israelites because that's who we are. You are now tuned in to Wartime Radio Show. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Shalom. My name is Officer Yuanathan. This is Wartime Radio. On my left. Officer Nehemiah. On my right. Officer Eitan. And our reader today. Officer, you want to dog us up. Hey, frontline soldiers are here to let you know the war has begun. And today we're going to start off with Romans 15 and 4. It's the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. Read it out. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. And we're going to need the hope of Christ because... Esau, the wrath of Esau is on the loose. And we're going to start off right now with Christ giving us some heads up. Give me Matthew chapter 24, start off with verse 4. It's the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. Read it out. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So Jesus is warning us, don't let anybody be uh, deceived. And right now, of course, our people deceive because we don't recognize the enemy. We don't recognize the things that's going in the world on in the world and we just living it up right now like it's the time of our life look they pushing sports all over the place while all the darn armies is, is getting ready to bond it or every nation about to bond this place mm -hmm. <laughs> right as our people been uh stuck up on their bridge for over a week or two our people all they care about is college football and the nfl hey continue for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, uh -huh. and shall deceive many. Well, I'm going to let you know right now, that's your Christians. They came in the name of Christ, and the very first thing they did was deceive us and lie to us and tell us that we were Gentiles. Woo! We are the Israelites of the Bible. We are the that's real Jews. That's right. And we are the children that's under attack. Our people is up under attack right now. Continue. And ye shall hear of wars uh -huh. and rumors of wars. Right. Read. See that ye be not troubled. See that we what? See, see that ye be not troubled. We're not, we're not troubled by what's going on because we know what this word say. This Bible is the playbook of what's going down right now. That's why we're not worried. Read. For all these things must come to pass, uh -huh. but the end is not yet. The end is not yet, but we are in the last days. Read. For nation shall rise against nation, uh -huh. and kingdom against kingdom. Read. And there shall be famines. They're going to be what? Famines. Uh -huh. And pestilences. Uh -huh. And earthquakes in diverse places. So we're going to have all these things going down in these last days. And there was a mighty earthquake that hit the island of Haiti. Right. Right. It actually destroyed the island. And there's always big storms and earthquakes hitting that island anyway. Right. You know what I mean? But a lot of times, I, and it's, look, and it happens everywhere. It ain't just in Haiti, but today we we speaking specifically on Haiti right now because those are brothers, those are our, our Levite brothers. Mm -hmm. All right, so it, it like it says, it's gonna be earthquakes, and people don't even understand that that's God visiting the earth. Mm. You understand? That's what it says. I know if you was finished with that, but go ahead, also. Hey, pull up that video right quick of uh, the earthquake, and we'll get back to uh, God visiting the earth after we see this video. Wins. Since mid-August, 160,000 families here have been without homes. Thousands are injured. The hospitals are overcrowded. In the region of Lake High, southwestern Haiti, multitudes of people are in dire need of help, and not enough help is available. Tensions are running high. This aid transport is about to be looted.
with rudimentary tools and their bare hands, a family removes the last remnants of their house. Hey, stop for a second. It said 160,000 families are without homes. If that was any place else in this earth, you'll see America over there with their first aid ships, or what is it? Um, Blue Cross Red, ships. Red Cross Red or whatever. Cross. Yeah, FEMA. Yeah. yeah. Everybody would be coming to the rescue. But since they're Israelites, and if you didn't know, the Haitians are the Israelites. That's right. And let's to prove that right quick, let's go to Genesis 49, uh, verse 5. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 5. Read it out. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Simeon, Simeon and Levi. Yeah, Dominicans are the tribe of Simeon. Mm -hmm. And Levi is the Haitians. They said they are brethren. They are sh sharing the same island. Read. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. And their instruments of cruelty is voodoo. This is what's going on with our people. This is one reason why the Haitians are getting jacked up. Right. Because the Levites were actually the priests of the Most High God. And like it said, just so y'all don't get twisted, it says that, now mind you, all 12 other sons are brothers. But it specifically <laughs> said these two are brothers because they would live on the same island right next to each other. And that's why you have the uh, island of, uh, what is it called? What's the name of the island? Uh, coming to me. Yeah, there you go, Espanola. All right, so that's why it says they are brothers because they're on the same island right next to each other. Was that it on that verse? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, um, but and well, you, I ain't I had no, you done with that. I'm gonna pull the script because uh, I know we said we was gonna go back to the earthquake, mm -hmm. and and a lot of times we don't understand that that's like we said that that's God visiting the earth. He's judging different nations and things like that. He's using the storms that He controls because you get everybody saying, "Oh, the white man did it and controlled it." No, God did it. So let's get that in Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Just want to touch that real quick. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. Bring it out. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder uh -huh. and with earthquake. And with earthquakes. So it says with thunder and earthquake. We don't. And great noise. Uh -huh. With storm uh -huh. and tempest. Read. And the flame of devouring fire. So that big earthquake that hit that island and destroyed that whole that whole island. Destroyed where the Levites live. That's what happened. Most high is doing that. Now, mind you, there's other things going on all over the place. You got floods happening right here in America that don't normally happen. Flooding all over the place. So look, our people are they like, most high is making it tough for us. He's going to make it hard for us. And the reason why he did it is because, can I get another script? Go ahead. Shoot, let me get Hosea 515. This is why he's doing it. This is He understands something about his people that we don't understand. We haven't, we haven't come to the conclusion of it yet. So therefore, all these things got to happen. Uh, Hosea 515. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to my place Three. till they acknowledge their offense mm -hmm. and seek my face. Because that's what we must do. That's why he's judging us. Woo! That's why the pestilence is on the earth. That's why every. That's why the storms and earthquakes are coming. It's because God is doing so. He said, until we acknowledge our offense and seek his face, read. In their affliction, they will seek me early. He understands that we only going to call on him when we get afflicted. Right. We ain't going to look. Look, while everything is, everybody comfortable, ain't nobody thinking about God. Like you said, everybody talking about college football and the NFL right now. While everything is going on, bombs is pointed to this way, and we don't even care. We, don't even, we ain't even conscious of it. We ain't even conscious of it. Hey, you know, um, I started off with uh, Matthew 24 and verse 4. Go back to that. Because I'm going to show you what happened. We didn't take heed to that warning that Christ gave. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 4. Uh -huh. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Uh -huh. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Guess who showed up in Haiti? The, the uh, Christian missionaries. They're full in Haiti teaching our people capitalism. You know, teaching our people false religions. And that's what's wrong with Haiti now. If they ain't doing voodoo, guess what? They worshiping Caesar Borgia. Right. Really? 
and shall deceive many. So Esau showed up in Haiti and deceived our people, got them falling false religions. And the whole, so now we have an island full of our people following white man Jesus and doing voodoo. Yep. And now, and look, and now because of everything going on, now they're trying to run and flee into different countries right here at, uh, at the coast down there in Texas. Right. Running through persecution, and now you got the so-called white men on horses running them around, look like them mm -hmm. old photos that we that we see and use when we're teaching slavery to our people and how real and how it's true. Mm -hmm. And now you got live pictures current two days ago. Right. <laughs> look the exact same. Watch this. Give me Malachi 2 and 7. Because like I said, them, those um, Levi don't realize they, they done committed a great offense against the Most High God. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So them Levites should have been keeping knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. We should have been seeking the law from his mouth. Our whole nation fell because they wasn't teaching us the law. Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord the of hosts. The Levites were the messengers of God. Read. But ye are departed out of the way. What did they do? Are departed out of the way. They have departed out of the way of truth. They are not keeping the law, statute, and commandments. Read. You have caused many to stumble at the law. They did what? Caused many to stumble at the law. Our people, our whole nation has stumbled. We have failed as a nation because we wasn't taught the laws. Now we don't let the very people that oppressed us deceive us into all these religions on this earth. Read. Read. Yeah. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi. What did they do? Corrupted the covenant of Levi. Read. Saith the Lord of hosts. That's what unhappened to our people. Right, all of a sudden. But that comes back from back in slavery when they gave us that false image. Still to this day, like you said, we still doing what the white man put before us. We don't even consider the Bible anymore. You know, you see what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's what's going on in this earth. Hey, uh, is that the end of that video? Hey, go to the one uh, where we're on the bridge. Pull up that article. Yeah, the one where it shows well, the one where it shows everybody under the bridge. Because our people, you know, like I said, they've been watching college football, worrying about the Clemson Tigers and the South Carolina Gamecocks and the Dallas Cowboys, but they don't even realize their brothers and sisters are dying. Our babies are dying. This is the atrocities that's been going on on the borders of Mexico and Texas. It's like a little refugee community of about what, 15,000? Yeah, so I think it was 15,000 15, or was it 30? 15, 15,000. 15, yeah, 15,000 of our brothers and sisters right there. Let's read that article. And also, shout out to the, uh, to the officers and men that had went down there and the leaders that had went down there and the captains. And, and everybody, all the men that went down there to actually spread the truth to our brothers, man. Hey, shout all, out to y'all, man. Yeah, all praises is that because I'm going to tell you, you ain't going to find your uh, Jesse Jacksons and right. Al they, Sharptons. Where was they and, at? Creflo yeah, Dollars, T.D. Jakes. They ain't going down there. Our men are on the front lines right now trying to save our people, and they bringing them that word. Yep. You know what they're saying? Oh, they made my people. You better to, that's shut what your saying. black Christian mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Read that. Why America keeps turning its back on Haitian migrants? Well, that's hey, that's a strong title right there. Yeah, look, it's <laughs> it said why they keep doing it. So this ain't the first time. That's what that's saying. This ain't the first time. Right. right. Look at look at. Uh, hey, before message. you even go, I I gotta pull it. I gotta pull it. Hey, give me the uh, uh, Genesis. Uh, what's it? Twenty seven. On why they keep turning their back. Yeah, twenty seven and forty one. Let's get that. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 41. Bring it out. And Esau hated Jacob. Esau what? Hated Jacob. That's why he keep turning his back on us. Read. Because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. Mm -hmm. and, and Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. He'll do what? Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Hey, we are the children of Jacob. Esau hates our guts. He hates because the Most High blessed us with the rulership of this earth. That's with the, right. With the kingdom of heaven. That's why they keep turning their backs on our people. 
That's why we're not getting the same treatment after Afghanistan. Right. Afghanistan's coming over here. They get hotels. They get personal chefs. They get they money. Get money owns. to go shop. Bruh. Bruh. You know what? Hey, a 32-inch screen TV in my hotel room is too small. And so they go and buy everybody new ones. Right. Come on now, dog. Imagine them the same people that they was just now saying that those are the terrorists. So you got the people that you claim to be the terrorists. You bring them to U.S., and then in the U.S., you put them up in hotels and take care of them. Yeah, them same people, <laughs> them same people they're giving them rolled out the red carpet for. Right. I'll be strapping on bombs next month. That, and that goes into what um, in the scriptures say. You got a split tongue. Yeah. The, the, um, the, the northern kingdom used to say, uh, say the white man has a split tongue. He'll tell you one thing, just like old snake, the snake that he is, yep. telling you that we'll help, we help everybody. But you look at the Afghanis and then look at the Haitians. They turning one away and bringing the other one in. Right. What bomb has a Haitian strapped to himself and blowing up anybody right. over? Not, there? not nail one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go back to the article. Why America keeps turning its back on Haitian immig- Haitian migrants? The Biden administration is continuing a long history of exclusionary policy against Haitian asylum seekers. Does it come down past that yellow? The images make it a little bigger. The images left many sickened and outraged. Border Patrol agents on horseback hounding Haitian migrants near the U.S. Mexico border more than 14,000 of whom were camped under the Del Rio Bridge on September 19th. The uniformed men swung their long horse reins, which many interpreted as whips, to keep the migrants from crossing into Texas. <laughs> they said many interpreted as whips. Oh, they was whips. <laughs> yeah, that's what they was using. <laughs> it's, exactly. the same, it's the same material. <laughs> yo, 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 they ain't whipped because your president called it a strap. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you get whippings with, that's a whipping. <laughs> oh, I, got a, I got a script for that. Oh, bring it out then. In Genesis 2850. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 50. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. So when you see, so in the picture we just saw with the brother, with the Edomite on the horse, a nation of fierce countenance. You see a horse coming towards you with somebody swinging a strap, like the president said, with a whip. Mm -hmm. That he he don't. That's showing you that he's coming at you uh, in in, in anger, right? Mm -hmm. Right. See a nation with fierce with the fierce countenance shall not regard. He ain't regarding nobody. Right. The young, the old, you, uh, the pictures we saw, children crying, people running, so on and so forth. It's, it's ridiculous. That's all I got. Hey, hold on. Read that verse again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch on that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 50. Read it up. Pull up that picture while you're reading this verse. I uh, want you to see this, this, this fierce man on his horse. And keep in mind, you, what you see... Is in the hands of yeah, our can people. You, can you zoom in on his face? Right. Yeah, yeah. Zoom in on Buddy Faith, the Edomite. Because what you see is our people struggling to get food and water. That's what he's doing. These yeah. are refugees. These are people who have children that's out there with no food, no water, no shelter. Instead of these Edomites having compassion on these people, Look what you see. You see somebody that actually look like he want to kill him. He wants to kill him. He got a whip in his hand. They, they showing you who they are. You know, that, that the Bible told you in the last days that man of sin going to be revealed. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. My people can't realize that this is the man of sin. This is the man that deceived the whole world to think that they are the children of God. This is that man. Read. Read that verse. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 50. Read it out. A nation of fierce countenance. That is the nation of fierce countenance. That is the nation that dropped atomic bombs on people. That is the nation that's invading everyone's land. That's the nation that had put us in slavery for 400 years. Read. Which shall not regard the person of the old. They didn't care about the old that's out there. Read. Nor show favor to the young. We got babies out there crossing those rivers. Right. He's carrying stuff for his children. Right. He's probably carrying bags for his family, and they care nothing about that. Nothing. Right. No regard at all, just like the scriptures say. Has no regard for nothing. Why? Because all, all he sees is a, 
a dirty, uh, nasty black man. He don't see him as a, as a human being. But our people better wake up in these last days. Because our enemy is showing you who they are. They are not hiding it. Mm -hmm. It's right here on living color in your face, letting you know who these people are. Clear and present danger. They are the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. right. And it's time that our people wake up. Because we're too busy running, seeking help from our enemy. We want to walk hand in hand. But, yeah, give me Lamentations 4 and 17. It's the book of Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 17. Read it out. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. For our what? Our vain help. Read. In our watching... We have watched for a nation that could not save us. We've been waiting for a nation that could not save us. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on right now with Haiti. They came over here looking for help from a nation that will not help them. This is a nation that actually got you in poverty. They're stealing all your resources. You had Clinton and his wife go over there. And go over there and, and claim to be trying to help them out with, with one of the uh, big earthquakes they hit before. Who and does literally that? took all the donations for themselves to build hotels and stuff to make themselves rich. And admitted to it. Then admitted that that's what they did. And our people still seek refuge from them people. Unbelievable. Right. Unbelievable. You still got people still wanting to donate to them when they're the same people that's taking the money and then not even giving it toward the cause that people are even giving it for. You can try to give money to help the people over there in Haiti, the Red Cross. They're going to give 1% of what you give to them. Unbelievable. That's all that. That's all. They're, I think it's 1% or 3%. That's all they're legally uh, binded to give to them. So they could take all that money and do what they want to do with it. And that's exactly what they're doing. I'm going to tell you, listen, this Bible is written for our learning. And it's time that the Haitians wake up and realize they're God's children. Hey, these curses that they're up under right now are the curses. We pull them right out this Bible. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. These curses are identified that we are the children of Israel. And these curses are going to identify that the Haitians are the children of Israel. They come from the mighty nation of Levi. Read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 29. Read it out. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. Uh huh. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. They shall not what? Prosper in thy ways. They ain't going to prosper in their ways because Esau got their hands in their pockets. Woo! <laughs> taking everything from them. Haiti right now is the poorest country on this side of the earth. Most High brought them all the way down to be a base kingdom because of why? Because they turned their back on the Most High's laws. Mm -hmm. They're under the curse. And Levi got put up under a special curse for that fact that they're supposed to be the priests of the Most High God. Is that the end of that verse? No, sir. We'll finish that. And thou shalt be only oppressed. They're going to be what? Only oppressed. They, hey, they know that they're being oppressed. Right. They know that they're going through poverty. Matter of fact, hey, one of the mainstays of their diet is mud cookies. Then we got a video of that. This is what oppression look like. The people here in America, we, they don't really know oppression because we're too busy eating takeout every single day. We're yeah. too busy watching cable TV. We're too <laughs> busy living it up. But the, but the uh, Haitians, the so-called tribe, uh, the, the tribe of Levi, they're catching hell on this earth right now. Pull up that video. They look a lot like pancakes or cookies. The recipe passed down from generations here in Haiti. Women spend entire days making them. Grandmothers, daughters, and younger girls. Infants are nursed while mothers work the mix. Kids seem to enjoy them, at least when our camera was around. But these patties, known as bonbon terres by the Haitians who eat them, are a grim reminder of just how poor this Caribbean nation is. They aren't sweet, they're hard to swallow, and add almost nothing in terms of nutrition. They're because the eating, cookies are on. actually- they're That man just said they- Mud, mud cake. He just said they act 
like they enjoyed it at least on camera. So that means he saw them off camera. What, what, what it is is Esau sticks the camera in their face. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And how people have to go through the motions because why? That's oppression. Yeah. That's oppression right there. You know, imagine having to feed your babies mud because you don't have no food. But yet you got your businesses and your resorts in their land. Taking advantage of Right. And, and not to mention um, the relief agencies, all the relief that was sent to Haiti, they never get to see it. No. They what never get to see relief? it. What relief? What relief? That's why they say even after the earthquake, it was like, yo, there's a hundred and some thousand people needing help and there is no help. Even now, when they was up under that bridge, we had our people... Uh, bringing them supplies, bringing them water, bringing them food, and they was getting turned around at yeah, the border. They wouldn't even allow them to be helped. Our people got to realize that our enemy hates our guts. They'll watch your babies starve. They'll sit there and watch. They'll film you eating mud cookies and saying, hey, it seems like they like it. Yeah, that's the perpetual <laughs> hatred. Right? That's crazy. That's the perpetual hatred that, uh, that they have for us. Hey, read that verse again from the top. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 20, uh -huh. 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. Read. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And what? And no man shall save thee. You know what? That great hero of the earth. The one that proclaims liberty and freedom for all. Yeah. in America. Right here in America, they won't give these people a helping hand. Nope. They was, shoot, they was right here. They Look, they was at the border of Texas. At the border of Texas getting turned around. Getting turned around. Getting whipped. Stra <coughs> strapped. As strapped, as the president called it. <laughs> Dang. You would think it was, what, 1860. I'm, hey, I'm telling it's you. It's 2021. Bro. They showed, they and the black it. man is still getting whipped. Hey, they showed an Going image. Going back to them curses. They showed they an the image strap. yesterday during class where they actually put it side by side of one of the old photos or one of the old drawings or whatnot where the slave master had to whip and hitting the man. And then today, that picture that we just looked at, right side by side, looked the exact same. Come on now, dog. Exact same. And I Come like, on, like, man. Real. I just, I don't even know what to say about him. You know what I'm saying? That, that is madness. Madness. But like God said, hey, he turned his back on us until we seek him. <laughs> until we seek him. Hey, read verse 33. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 33. Read it out. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. That's Esau right there. Yeah. That's Esau. He done took all your resources. He took all your wealth. Who does that? They do. Who does that? Esau. Yeah. That's who does it. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Always. Mm -hmm. Always. They done had their foot on the uh, Haitian's neck since the moment they got off the boat. Since the mo moment they won their freedom against the look, French. Look, they won their freedom and they got to pay. Right. They still pay. They're they paying, paying back. Still for paying that. to this day. Like, man, I'm Literally you, that is crazy. Like, they don't have no resources because they're taking the money from the from that nation, and then the French is taking the money from them. Look, the How so are you free and you got to pay? I got to pay you to be free. Look, the so-called Jewish people who stole our identity and stole our land, they're getting reparations for what their own people did to them. Right. Got the whole world paying them reparations for their atrocities. And yet, here we got... The children of Levi, God's chosen people, are paying for being free. Mm -hmm. They are paying for being free, for wanting their freedom. We put the Japanese in concentration camp during World War II, and they got reparations right. from America for that thing. Dang. Think so about it. Instead crazy. of us getting reparations, we get taxed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that old Jedi mind trick. Hey, matter of fact. That's part of them curse. Give me it group yeah, three right. that's what I was going to call that. All oh, yeah, bring that out. Oh, you got it. Okay. All right, let's read that. Baruch 3 and 8. This is the book of Baruch. Chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, uh -huh. where thou hast scattered us for a reproach 
and a curse. Because like it says, we are yet this day in our captivity, so we are not free. Even though, look, that's why that's why they're sitting. Look, man, the tribe believe I think they're free. They had to fight for their freedom, and they're subject to payments. And we're going to read that. Read. And to be subject to payments. And that's what they're doing, paying to be free. People are taking the resources from our brothers and sisters, and they're doing so in the name of freedom. Claim, our, people, our people think we're free. That you, the ones in here in America are too comfortable. But we're going right. to deal with them in a little bit. We're going to deal with y'all in a little bit because we we too comfortable here because we think it can't happen to us. Right. We think it can't happen to us. But read on. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. Just like all of us have said, this is happening to the tribe of Levi because they were given a special charge of God to be the priest, to hold down the office, doing the service of the tabernacle unto the Most High, and they did not do it. So, nope. therefore, he's put curses on them, special curses on them. All right? Hey, with that, we're going to take us a break. Hey, this is Wartime Radio, WPJM 800. We'll be back with you in a few minutes. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. are popping up left and right they're all secret plots okay like the thing with the the MAGA with the American Indian and you had the brother I think his name is uh, Ephraim Chief Ephraim right and by their secret plots by their secret plots and popular persuasions that's their media their media is a popular persuasion why because most people believe what they see on TV what they see on the news I believe it don't read it again and by their secret plots and popular persuasions and commotions they try to stir up a commotion to get people against us go ahead they hinder the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived so they were hindered from building for the space of two years until the reign of Darius guess what they're not going to hinder this this is going to keep going all on everybody understand that so Christ is Christ Oh, praise. Hey, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. I mean, no, give me verse 15. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Read it out. And it shall come, but it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So... There's no doubt that our people are up under a curse right now. The Haitians are under a curse. They are catching it. Jump down to verse 25. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. And that's what's going on. The Haitians are being smitten. The children of Levi, the servants of God, are being smitten right now before the enemies. Read. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt go out one way against them uh -huh. and flee seven ways before them. Read. And shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. You know what? It was 15,000 people up under a bridge last week. Today, nobody knows where they're at. Where is that video for that? Let's pull up the video to show 15,000 people disappeared overnight. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Thousands stayed. Thousands got sent back. They went out one way, they had another way. Yeah, man, hey, I think it's just crazy how they was going that fast. Mm -hmm. While they pulling up that video, give me um, verse 34, just to show you how real this uh, 
scripture is, this Bible is. <laughs> it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 34. Read. And so, so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. If you ain't mad for what you've seen over the last week, then I, I, don't, know, I don't know what to say about you. Your spirit ain't right. We done seen babies, children starving, being mistreated, yeah. our people being whipped by men on horseback. You ain't mad at the sight of that. Hey, you ain't no Israelite, point blank. You ain't God's children. Mm. Matter of fact, you the enemy. If that don't bother you, you the enemy. Hey, you got that video? Pull it up. This is 15,000 people disappeared, gone. Nobody knows where they are. Yeah, so if you remember the, the, the photo in that article, it was people packed Everywhere. under that bridge, man. Packed under that bridge. You and couldn't even, man, that thing looked like a sea of people under the bridge and nothing's there. And you can't say they done flew out 15,000 people. Because we know they built concentration camps all over America. Man. The same thing that happened with our people during uh, Hurricane Katrina when they got shipped all over America. Guess what? Now they got places for you. Yeah. Because we better for, remember this one thing. Slavery is legal in prison. Mm. They built, built concentration camps because that's where that free labor is at. Right. But like you said, like you had mentioned earlier, um, that the fact that if you're not mad at, you're supposed to be mad. We're actually supposed to be upset and mad when we see these things. But you'll have our people's living comfortable. That's because God says we're not wise people. Let's get to Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Mm. Bring that out. It's the mm. book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Bring it out. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. It says, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. So if you're not upset and mad about oppression, what it's telling you is you dumb. You are not wise at all. You're simple. Read on. And a gift destroyeth the heart. But our people that are living comfortable, you got our, the blacks and Hispanics and stuff that done made their way, been living here in America, look, in oppression for 400 plus years, but they comfortable because they've been given certain little 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 trinkets, as one brother had told me before. He called it trinkets, giving you a little bit of something, and now you think you better than, than your own brothers and sisters that's going through more oppression than you are. But that's because you think you are different, but you're not. Get um get Luke thirteen and three. Let's get Luke thirteen and three because we act like this stuff can't happen to us if we don't get right. Understand, we're all going to go through the same stuff if we don't repent. It's all judgment. The same judgment, which is death, is going to come on all of us. It's the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. Bring it out. I tell you, nay. Uh, jump up, jump verse up. Uh, verse 1. Yeah, verse 1. It's the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 1. Mm -hmm. It says, there were present at the, at the season some that told him of the Galileans, mm -hmm. whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Read. So this right here, these were people who was, who was actually killed, and their blood was mingled with the sacrifices. Read on. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, uh -huh. because they suffered these things? Because that's how we look at it. We look at our brothers, the tribe of Levi, and say, oh, man, they the worst of the worst. That's what we that's how we act. We act like they're not us. We act like we ain't in the same boat they in. We act like we are not susceptible to the same judgment and everything that they going through. It says, suppose ye that they are the, the sinners above everybody. Read on. I tell ye nay. No, they not. Read on. But except ye repent, ye shall like ye shall all likewise perish. That's why you have floods in Philly now. That's why you have floods in New York now. That's why you have places where all of our, look, uh, New Orleans get flooded all the gat during time. Right. All around the world. Right there where our people at. Because we actually sit up there and act like, oh, this can't happen to us. We in, we look, we in the best part of America. And New then Orleans there, be all in that voodoo too. Right. Yeah, a lot of Levi down there too. Right. But our people act like it cannot happen to you. Read on. Nope. Or those 18 upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them. Mm -hmm. Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? Read on. I tell ye nay. Mm -hmm. 
but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So if we don't repent, all of us, if we all don't repent, we all going to get the same judgment. So you sitting up here thinking, oh, well, those ain't my people. Shoot, it ain't me. I ain't got to go through it. And then that flood show up right at your mama house, right there at your house, right at your daddy house. Mm -hmm. Now everybody on the water blowing bubbles and crap drowning. Right. Like you on during Titanic and crap. Bruh. All this is a game to our people. Give me Malachi 2 and 2. All, all this is a game to our people. They don't take nothing seriously. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 2. Bring it up. If ye will not hear... And if ye will not lay it to heart uh -huh. to give glory unto my name. If we don't give glory to the Most High's name, we don't take heed to these law, statutes, and commandments. Saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you. He going to do what? Send a curse upon you. Read. And I will curse your blessings. Read. Yea, I have cursed them already. He did what? I have cursed them already. So when you think you ain't under the curse, you better wake up and look around you. You are under the curse. You are still a slave. You still walking around with the slave master's last name. You st he still got his foot on your neck. You filling up the prisons. Hey, I, drugs are in our community. They done destroyed our youth. They done turned our little daughters into thoughts. They done turned our young sons into little thugs. Yeah. So if you think we ain't on the curse. Look, little sodomite thugs. Yeah, little sodomite thugs. I don't, I don't thugs. even make no gap there in sense. Come on now, dog. Unbelievable. Mm. So, wait, and read it one more time. I, I, I want this to sink in. Like, like, like uh, Bishop said, let that butter roll off that biscuit. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 2. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, so -called, you so-called blacks and Hispanics, Native Americans, you better wake up. You better wake up. We are in the last days. The Most High is telling you. He's talking to you directly to you and no one else. Read. Say it, the Lord of hosts. I will even send a curse upon you. Uh-huh. And I will curse your blessings. Read. Yay. I have cursed them already uh -huh. because you do not lay it to heart. You do not take this serious. All we do is run our mouth, claim we love God, and then won't follow nothing he say. All we do is make excuses. Can't nobody keep all them laws. Oh, hey. man. Good. The law is done away with. We're supposed to take heed. We're supposed to have fear of the most high God. Read. Behold, I will corrupt your seed. He'll do what? Corrupt your seed. And guess what? Them, them little children, them chitlins, they corrupted. Yeah, running they around. They totally crazy. corrupted. Good. And don't nobody else's children do that but us. Yeah. And nobody's children running around trying to be no thugs. Woo! Trying to be running around being grown and ain't but nine and ten years old. That's our children. Read. And spread dung up on your faces. That's what happened to them, them, them little mud cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. Read. Even the dung of your solemn feast. So that's they feasting. They eating. That's all they got. Damn. Read. And one shall take you away with it. <laughs> Esau took him away. I don't know where they went. I'm like, what the hell? What did I just read? This is <laughs> where did it go? We don't know. But the God knew. Because he told us. He warned that's us. It. That's it. He told us, he warned us, and we didn't take heed. How was you guys on the break? Yeah, go uh, Leviticus 26. Let's start at verse 14. This goes right into what officer was bringing out. Because yeah. we didn't keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. This is what it's showing us in this verse. To go. go ahead and read it, officer. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 14. Bring it out. But if ye will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statutes. So it's saying right there, we, uh, the Levites, us, uh, the Israelites, he said, if you despise my commandments, read. Or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant. Levi broke God's covenant, read. I also will do this unto you. So what, what we did to God, he's going to do to us, read. I will appoint over you terror. Terror. Look, them, them men on them horses with them, yeah. them whips. Mm, straight terror. Straight, straight terror. Read. Mm. Consumption and the burning egg. Hey, hold on right quick. He said straight terror. It was 15,000 people out there. Yeah. And it was just a couple of men on horseback. Right. 
Bruh, where's the, where's the fight at? Because you know that terror had to come from God. Yeah. Right. Read. And the burning ag that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. They run and scared. Read. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. The enemies shall eat it. The Most High took away the, the blessing from uh, yeah. Levi. All their resources. Took everything away from him. Look at, look at uh, Haiti now. It's desolate. Parts of it is desolate. Esau living in the good parts. Read. And I will set my face against you. Most High turns his, turns his back against us, in the, against the Levites. Read. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. Read. They that hate you shall reign over you. The men on them horses reigning over you. <laughs> see, I see princes walking and in, in, in the um, and, and, servants, and servants, servants on horses. The servants on, on horses. Read. And ye shall flee when none pursueth you. We're fleeing when none pursueth. We fleeing because of them horses. That that fears counseling is like in Deuteronomy twenty eight fifty. Yeah, that's all I got. Oh, all praise. It. Hey, was you was you going back to Malachi two? Bring it up. Yeah, let's go back over there to Malachi two and verse ten now, because like it said, look, this ain't just Levi. This is all of us, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is happening to all of us, but we act like. It ain't happening to us. But read this, and this is why. Read this, because it didn't just say Levi was going to go against God. The Levi did it all. Right. Read this. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 10. Read it out. Have we not all one father? No, uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we can start there. Read on. Have we not all one father? Uh-huh. Hath not one God created us? Read. Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother? Read. By profaning the covenant of our fathers. All the tribes did that. Mm. Right. All 12 did that. Right. Read on. Judah had dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. So there you go. All 12 dealt treacherously. All 12 of us went against what God told us to do. Read on. For Judah hath profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, uh -huh. and hath married the daughter of a strange God. And that's what we doing. We out here committing all kinds of fornication with the other nations and also the spiritual fornication following other gods. That's why it said, look, that same judgment that we see that's happening to our brothers and sisters of the tribe of Levi, it's happening to us right here in America. It's just they done made us a little comfortable a little bit in certain parts because you go to other parts of the world, shoot, it's just as bad. Right. <laughs> right. Also, that goes back to that gift. And, uh, yeah, please, yes, and give seven, the seven. the heart. Right. Read on. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this. Uh-huh. The master and the scholar. So the master and the scholar, everybody out here thinking you smart, you got all these degrees. You going to be cut off too. <laughs> thinking you don't went to school, now you sitting up there with your chest poked out. You ain't doing nothing. Bruh. Because you ain't doing what God said. Read on. Out of the tabernacles of Jacob. Uh-huh. And him that offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts. Your sacrifices, your services, and stuff that you claim. Because today we ain't doing the sacrifices of animal sacrifice no more. Now our bodies is that sacrifice. The sacrifice, oh, well, I, I feed the poor. I feed the homeless. You don't even know what to do with that. You won't even do that the right way. That's why God said, oh, that's for nothing. You're going to get cut off anyway. Because you ain't doing it according to what God said. Hey, give me uh, Isaiah 43 and 1. The one thing about all this is, is that we do have an advocate. And that advocate is Christ. And we got to return back to him. We got to return back to these laws and commandments that he commanded us to do. That's why this Bible is our hope. Read. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 1. Read it out. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. Do what? Fear not. Do what? Fear not. Don't show no fear. Believe in the most high God. Read. For I have redeemed thee. Uh-huh. I have called thee by thy name. Read. Thou art mine. And when you the most high, uh, guess what? You'll come back to these laws that you command. Right. That's come right. Back to the most high God. All you have to do is return back to him. You Haitians, you so uh, you tribe of Levi, come back to the most high God, and he will uh, protect you. And give me Revelations 12 and 12. The book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12. Read it out. 
Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Uh-huh. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Read. For the devil has come down unto you. So that's what happened. The devil done came down on us. Mm-hmm. Because why? Read. Having great wrath. And guess what? That's great wrath, what you sin. He's watching our people starve. He's planning on killing us. And you know Look, what? And also, and also pushing the jab in your arm now. Right. Got him. <laughs> you know, uh, what did he say? That mosquito bite? Yeah, the mosquito bite. That's what Deacon Malachi call it. Right. Now they want to make us get the mosquito bite. But hey, the oppression is coming. You so called black Americans, you better wake up. Because the devil has great wrath and he's on coming down upon you. Hey, we're getting ready to see times like we've never seen before. Read. For the devil has come down unto you, uh-huh. having great wrath, Read. because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. You know why he know he has a short time? Because he see the prophets of God waking That's him up. That's right. He see us waking him up. He see our people returning back to the Most High God and we're keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. If you want to be saved through all these things, guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's what's going to have to happen. You got something, officer? Uh, Isaiah 59, uh, 19 just goes along with what, what, what officers are saying. God's going to raise up a standard, right? Mm-hmm. He's going he's gonna to, re- he's the one, the only one that can redeem us from this. We ain't got, we don't have no armies. Read. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 19. Bring it out. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West. Where are we? We're in the West. We're in the Western Hemisphere, read. And it's glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So that's showing us the Most High is going to deliver us out of this this uh this oppression. What's going on with our people? Be it Haiti, Judah, and and and, and the rest of the Israelites around the world. He's just showing that he's going to lift up the standard and bring us out of this. That's it. Oh, praise it! Hey, go to um. Let's get you uh, Ezekiel thirty-seven. Ezekiel thirty-seven. And mm, and nine, matter of fact, no ten. Because like Officer just said, the enemy knows, man. Our oppressor know they don't got long. That's why they doing all the stuff that they are doing to keep us down as long as they possibly can. They're trying in every which way possible to keep our people from rising up <laughs> because they know that they don't have that long. Because it's already prophesied in the Bible it was going to happen. So they see they see the tribes. You got we got many people in this truth from the tribe of Levi. That's the game that's going out there and teaching the people and they waking up. So they're trying to keep them away from each other because all oh, the ones that know the truth, they don't want them to get to the ones that don't. So they try to, hey, hey we trying to we come out here to bring them water and things like that. No, no, no. You can't do that because they already know what's going to happen. So they try to stop it. Read that. Verse 10. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, uh-huh. and the breath came into them. The breath came into them. Read. And they lived. And they lived. These laws of God was put into our people, into us, and we live. Read. And stood upon their feet, uh-huh. an exceeding great army. That's what we are. We are God's army. That's what we are. And they see it happening, so now they mad, and they trying to hang on for their life, hanging on the edge of a cliff with their fingernails, because they know their time is up. Right. That's what happened. Hey, give me uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 13. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 13. Bring it out. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Our people... Hey, stand strong. Get ready. Get your mind right. Get your spirit right. Come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read that again from the top. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. Read it out. But he that shall endure unto the end. You're going to have to endure these things that's coming because the Most High is going to make it happen. He's going to put us through the fire. So you're going to have to endure. You can't give up. You're going to have to stay strong in these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. The same shall be saved. That's how you're going to be saved, by enduring, Mm -hmm. by never giving up. Read. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And as this truth is being spread out throughout this whole earth, and you, you have boots on the ground. The prophets are back, and they're bringing this truth back to our people. Right. That's right. Read. And then shall the end come. And that's when the end going to come. So this 
644,000 men, leaders, keep doing your thing. This is Wartime Radio. My name is Officer Yuanathan. On my left, Officer Nehemiah. And on my right, Officer Aton. And our reader, Officer Yuanathan Kasat. We say shalom. 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 Christ bless. Shalom. Christ bless. Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.